What's up YouTube? It's me Geo from Robinhood Investing with Geo. Bitcoin has done it over thirty thousand dollars. If you guys have been rocking with me, you knew this information well ahead before anyone else did. I've been making several videos about Bitcoin going over thirty K and sure enough, currently we're sitting at over thirty two thousand dollars in stands. Right now, in this video, I'm gonna tell you why it's at over thirty thousand dollars and how much more it could potentially run up. Alright guys, I'll see you soon. Hello investors, welcome back to my channel, Robin Hood Investing with Geo. My name is Geo. thanks for joining me. Just a quick reminder, if you enjoy this content that is quick and to the point and doesn't waste your time, consider subscribing, liking the video, commenting, I would greatly appreciate it. Alright guys, let's get into this. So yeah guys, man, as you can see, Bitcoin is an absolute rampage right now. And um, I just wanted to let you know why it's currently trading so high right now. Let me pull up a clip for you guys with Tom Lee on CNBC. Probably summarizes it best, better than anyone can at this point. So check it out. Tom Lee joins us. He's the head of research for Fundstrat Global Advisors. Tom, great to have you with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, your forecast, do you wish you, you put out a higher number at this point? <laughs> How much Bitcoin's <laughs> risen in such a short amount of time? Yeah. You know, uh, yeah, that number it actually came from David Greider, okay. who's our digital asset strategist. But uh, I, I think it, um, in rounder numbers, you know, 2021 is going to be a lot like 2017, um, which means Bitcoin should do even better in 2021 than it did in 2020. So something above 300 percent. More than 300 percent return on Bitcoin Correct. is what you're forecasting. We were just having a conversation yeah. about the, the interplay or, or the relationship potentially of a weaker dollar and a stronger Bitcoin. Is that part of this thesis? Is that part of your thesis, Tom? Um, it's going to be part of it uh, for two reasons. You know, first, um, you know, Bitcoin, it's going to be denominated in something. So if the dollar's weakening, but Bitcoin holds its value, then Bitcoin goes up. But the more important effect is this year, you know, we did see a lot of central bank liquidity. The dollar was really strong, uh, surprisingly, for much of the year. But its weakness now really is is going to make people think. You know, how do you sort of keep some, a unit in sound money? A lot of people thought gold would be that sort of store, and it, I think it still has a reasonable basis to be, you know, for someone to be on gold. But I think for younger folks and those who are in the digital generation, Bitcoin is that digital asset that they want to hold as a store value. So you guys can see that's a um, pretty spot on analysis right there from Tom Lee. I think um, there's a couple other things I wanted to add on to that. Um, as you guys know that um, when it comes to investing, it's not just about focusing on a company's balance sheet and the fundamentals on the company. One key aspect that a lot of investors miss and the reason you limit yourself in returns is because you need to focus on world events that i think along with the fundamentals of the company is 1a and then world events is 1b they could be interchangeable honestly and uh, currently the world events that are happening right now for bitcoin are causing this price to continue to rise up not to say that if the the weakness of the dollar wasn't weak right now it wouldn't be running up but it probably wouldn't be running up as much as it is right now but uh, another key aspect that um, people are missing is the following. And that reason is the Georgia runoff. If the Democrats win the Georgia runoff and they sweep both seats, they take control of the Senate. And what's, how does that concern Bitcoin, you might ask? If the Democrats control the Senate, they'll pass a lot more stimulus, no longer having to abide by what Mitch McConnell says. They'll be in full control of the Senate, the House of Representatives, and the White House. And um, again, not taking any political sides here at all, guys. I'm just stating you, I'm giving you facts to help you as an investor that you need to know that a lot of people just like overlook that if they control the Senate, that means there'll be a lot more money stimulating the economy. A lot of this money is not just going to come from thin air. It's going to have to come from somewhere. It's going to have to be possibly printed. So more money that's being printed, more stimulus that's given to people, $2,000 checks, helping small businesses. This is only going to cause Bitcoin Bitcoin to continue to rise. And I think that you can see the, the price of Bitcoin, like Tom Lee said, potentially pushing 300%. I mean, I don't want to say it's going to go up to 300%, but you never know. This is another catalyst that you guys have to be in the lookout for. January 5th very very important for the market overall 
But yeah, guys, everything I'm saying right now is my personal opinion. None of this should be taken as financial advice. You guys should always do your own due diligence and always do your own research. But you guys enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. Liking the video, commenting, I would greatly appreciate it. My name is Gio, and I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, by the way, we just hit 33k. That's pretty cool. Alright guys, see you later.